All right, hey guys, this is David, the Chess Nerd Bird, coming at you with another episode of Chess. Um, this time, uh, since it's Tuesday, August 29th, uh, I believe it's August 29th, yeah, August 29th, um, it's right before Chess Chess Center night, well, not right before, it's like 12.20 p.m., and um, uh, the game at, at the Chess Center starts at 7, 7.30, so uh, not right before, but uh, several hours before. So just want to go ahead and get into uh, some tactics training. Um, as you can see, I haven't haven't done done any today yet. So I'm just going to jump into um, solving some tactics. Uh, kind of, you know, you can test yourself, try to solve them as well, and we'll kind of get to hear some of my feedback and some of my thoughts as I'm as I'm solving. Uh, this will be kind of a, a shorter video. Just uh, I plan on doing like like maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes worth of worth of solving. So. We'll just go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> so first thing I notice here is uh, my queen's pinned uh, to my king. So hopefully white has something that is pretty good in terms of uh, winning something here. Um, Looks like white is up a piece, but again, with the with the queen being pinned, that's going to be a little a little more challenging. I was gonna say, I guess my my um, my instinct move is just to play knight to e4. Uh, is just to play, yeah, that move. Uh, I was trying to draw arrows, but I guess it doesn't let me draw arrows while I'm solving tactics. So, anyway, so what this move does is just blocks the pin, um, and then that way, if black were to um, try to take on on d4, then the queen could take. If uh, black were to play g takes h6 right now, then you could play knight takes f6 with check. Um, and that's a, a possibility. So just uh, just some ideas there. All right. So next puzzle. So it looks like um, Black's king is in a mating net, so he doesn't have really that many squares to move to. Um, so if I can play a check then I think white would be winning and it looks like this is the check that's going to win so so this one looks like black is up material I'm sorry not up material um, has a has a piece for for a rook so he's down the exchange um, it's going to say it looks like um, I can play knight to h5. That's going to hit the queen on g3. And so keep guarding the bishop. He'll play queen to. Um, um, f2 and then knight takes e3 queen takes e3 and then bishop takes uh, d4 it will pin the queen to the king so we'll just play that out and there you go so even if he tries to move like any of the rooks to d1 when you take the queen it's with check so you have time to to save your queen all right, so just moving right along here, um, solving solving the puzzles, and doing pretty well. Um, so here again, Black's king looks like it's in a mating net. Um, doesn't have any any squares he can move to. Um, I mean, he's got one square and he's got h8. So if I look at rook to c8, then you have rook either rook or bishop takes, um, and then rook takes again. Right, yeah, then, then another piece captures the rook. So that doesn't win. But if I were to... Hmm. I 
think if I take the bishop on d7 right away is what I'm looking at right now. So queen takes d7, uh, rook takes d7. Now rook c8, check, but his king can run to f7 now. So maybe that's not the right move either. Oh, it's a, uh, I see it, I see it. So rook c8, check, if rook takes, c8 then rook takes c8 bishop takes c8 and then queen to d8 check and now he's got to play rook to f8 queen takes f8 okay so that idea works so now we got to check if rook c8 check bishop takes c8 we don't take back on c8 we actually play queen to d8 check first and that's going to win So that was um, that's that's something that I've really been working on is the move order. Uh, in my own games, I have issues with that solving these tactics. I've noticed I've had issues with that. Um, I was working with a with a coach, and, and they also um, saw the same thing, you know, going wrong in my game. So um, yeah, so that move order um, is is sometimes it can be very very important. So if you're not quite sure, or if you can't make something work. Um, then definitely check your move order. Um, if you see that it works, check your move order because you may have calculated it correctly in a move order that if your opponent makes a different move in the sequence, then it works. But if they have a different move that is also going to protect them, you may find it, it throws your tactics all off. So just always make sure you're checking the move order. Um, so instinctively, uh, queen h5 check just... Uh, screams out to me, but do I have anything else that's going to be a little bit stronger? Uh, the other move is bishop takes g3 check, and that can pick up the queen. Um, so that looks like it's a lot stronger, so we're just going to play that. Okay. So what do we have going on here? So it looks like black is up uh, material. So what's the idea? I, mean, I could play the I could play the fork check knight to c two. That forks pieces. Um, this is something that I struggle with in my game. So right now, like I, I want to checkmate White's king, and I get to these type of positions in my games. Not you know this particular position, but positions where I feel like there's a checkmate on the board. So I'll I'll spend all, all this time like calculating checkmates and. And, and attacks on the king and, and my positions would just fall apart whereas here I see you know this knight to c2 idea but I feel like you know with the king being as airy as it is like my mind tells me like there should just be something there and I can't I have a hard time taking my mind away from the fact that maybe there isn't anything there and I just need to play you know the simple knight c2 and just win material so, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, taking the queen was the wrong move. Because, what I didn't notice is that rook a1, or a8, is checkmate. Wow, so I needed to take the rook and not the queen. All right, so let's play this back through. So now do I take the rook or do I play a check in between? No, I think you just take the rook. Yeah, just take the rook and, and, and win. Wow, so when you hear the advice, so you guys just saw it here. So when you saw the, when you hear the advice, like look at what your opponent's last move just did. Um, that that's a prime example, right? I didn't look at what Bishop F3 threatened. 
and I just saw I was going to win a queen for a knight, um, and I would have checkmated myself. I would have got myself checkmated. So uh, always make sure you're paying attention, paying attention to those moves. All right, so I'm not going to go out on a on a wrong puzzle. So let's get back in here and see if we can't win win this material. Win 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 this next tactic. All right, so. I think I'm just winning a piece here uh, because I guess Black thought that if I play Bishop takes a6, then he could just play Knight takes a6. But if I play Pawn takes uh, b4 right away, then I just win a piece because after he plays Bishop takes d3, then I just play c takes d3, and I'm just I'm just up a piece. So yeah, so that one is solved. All right. So just a little bit of, you know, tactics time here. Um, like I said, I was only going to do it for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, so just, like I said, a quick video. So I hope you learned something. Uh, you know, biggest lessons I learned today was, you know, check out the move order. You know, recalculate the move order. If you feel like something's winning, check the move order because you might be winning. You just might have it in the wrong sequence. And... The second thing that I really took away, which was with that last puzzle that I got wrong, was make sure that you check to see what the threats are on the board. You know, if your opponent makes a move, you know, check to see what that move threatens or does or, you know, something. Because it, it may it may be a trick like, like the one that happened on me where I thought I was winning the queen, but I gave up checkmate. So I uh, hope you found this video instructive. Uh, if you did, click the like button. If you liked it, uh, if not, leave some comments. Um, if there's something else you want to see me do in the future, leave comments for that as well. Uh, and make sure you click subscribe. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.